I am Nico Mashantonio, the Elcher Application Specialist here at Verter Scientific Inc. based in the United States. The CS2000 is identical to the CS800 with the addition of the resistance furnace which gives us the capability of running inorganic and organic samples. The induction furnace here is capable of temperatures uh, greater than 2000 degrees Celsius and here for the resistance furnace it is capable of temperatures of up to 1550 degrees Celsius. We also have here uh, affixed to the CS2000 is the autoloader. Here we are able to run 36 samples. You are able to run this machine unattended continuously for hours of unattended operation. So here for the resistance furnace, it is a horizontal furnace. You introduce your samples in two different boats. We have reusable ceramic boats here, but we also have one-time use ceramic boats as well. If you will weigh the sample on the scale, you can automatically show it to the software. And then when the analysis is ready to begin, you grab your sample insert and you simply push the sample until it stops, pull out, and the analysis will begin on your sample. Here for the induction furnace, it is a little different as it is a vertical induction furnace. We also have different crucibles here. These are the ceramic uh, crucibles that we use for the induction furnace. Analysis with the CS2000 is simple and easy and it is very quick to do. Take your crucible, place it on the scale, and with the functionality between the software and the scale, tearing the weight is as simple as pressing F6. The scale is now teared, and we can add our sample to the crucible. Transferring the sample weight to the PC is easy as pressing F4. Now that the software has the weight for the sample, we will now take the crucible, put it onto the pedestal, and starting an analysis as easy as pressing F5. And to the graph on the right, you can see in real time the results of your analysis. As you can see, each peak is represented by a different color. Each color represents the certain IR channel as to which the sample is being introduced to. The blue line you see tops out at a maximum of 8.5 volts which we have set up in the system. The system automatically knows to send that sample to the high carbon channel which is represented by the black peak. For the sulfur, we have the low sulfur channel which is in yellow and the high sulfur channel which is in red. The sample is now done analyzing Right here on the results screen, you can get the exact percentages in your sample. We were looking for 0.46, and we got 0.46. For sulfur, we were looking for 0.27, and we acquired 0.27%. Here we have the display for the results run throughout the analyzer's lifetime. If you want, you can look at samples that were done just for today, or you can do a custom sort and find any sample that was run from a certain date or time. Here in the Uni software, we have the functionality to export the, our results to a LIMS database. Here you can see the baseline for the system while it is in its steady state. You can see jumps around in between detectors for the IR cells. Once you have a stable baseline, the system will alert you to when it is stable and analysis can begin. This was a short introduction to the CS2000. If you need any application support or would like to see a live demo, please do not hesitate to reach out. Thank you for watching.